Nokia, a company that almost went non-existent back in 2013, is now catching up with various Android giants since the last year, thanks to HMD Global, the company behind Nokia's comeback. And if you remember, their first Android phone was none other than the Nokia 6. In this video, we will take a look at Nokia 6's successor, the Nokia 6.1. What is up guys, Kai here back with another video. Before I proceed, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and be among the first to watch my reviews and latest videos. The Nokia 6.1 much like its predecessor is a mid-tire phone and apparently there is a lot of change that has happened here. Before we dive onto it, let's take a look at the contents of the box that shipped with this device. You get a 18W Type-C charger capable of fast charging the phone, a pair of earphones which I wish should have been in the ear earphones and a SIM ejector pin. This phone comes in two variants, one with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage and second with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. The first one costing Rs 16,999 and second one costing Rs 18,999. This one is the latter one. Check the links given in the description for buying. On the outside, the aluminum body has been upgraded to a 6000 series aluminum, which not only looks and feels premium, but also provides rigidity and can dissipate heat unlike the plastic body belts. The fingerprint sensor has now been moved to the back to an ergonomic position, I believe, However, you might accidentally place your finger on the flash until you get used to the position. The edges are beautifully carved and plated with gold-like finish here. Even the power and volume buttons on this phone are satisfyingly clicky. On the top and the bottom back of the phone, you will find the antenna bands which are slightly hard to notice, but if you look carefully, they are there. The speaker at the bottom is really loud and I must say they are impressive. The traditional micro USB 2.0 has been replaced with USB Type-C with fast charging and it juices up the phone to 50% in just half an hour. The display here is a 5.5 inch 1920x1080p IPS LCD panel protected by Gorilla Glass 3 with 403 pixels per inch, which is same just like its predecessor. However, moving the fingerprint sensor to the back has given some room to the display and hence the bezels are now slightly trimmed. One thing that is missing here is the LED notification light. And it's high time manufacturers should not think about shipping phones without one. On the inside, the processor has now been upgraded to a powerful Snapdragon 630 with 2.2 GHz octa-core compared to Snapdragon 430 with 1.4 GHz octa-core from last year. Similarly, the GPU has also been upgraded to Adreno 508 compared to Adreno 505 from last year, which results to a Geekbench score of 884 for single core and 4247 for multi core. If you compare it with Nokia 6, which scored 666 for single core and 2802 for multi core, it's a huge bump up in performance. On Antutu benchmark, the Nokia 6.1 scored a decent 90,789, which might not let you play graphics intensive games smoothly, but it should handle most of the other games. Speaking of graphics, the primary camera here is 16 megapixel f2.0 aperture with Carl Zeiss optics and is capable of shooting video at 4K resolution at 30 frames per second. Judging from the price, I believe they should have included a dual camera setup. 
The front camera is a 8 megapixel f2.2 aperture capable of shooting video at 1080p. Here are a few shots from the phone. I'll let you be the judge. It also has a Bluetooth 5.0 which means better transmission speed, greater range and lower energy consumption for wireless devices. It has room for two SIM cards and one of the slots is a hybrid slot for microSD or SIM card. Battery wise this phone has a 3000 mAh battery which is just similar to any other phone these days and it generally lasts for a day for me. The best part about this phone is the fact that it has Android 1. A clean stock Android experience with timely updates, no bloatwares and no skin on the top. For instance, I was able to uninstall Google Play Movies and Newsstand and here I can even uninstall the Google Play Music. Out of the box it's running on Android Oreo 8.1 and when I received it, it had security patch update till April. And just within a week, Nokia pushed this security update for me. And I hope they will continue to do so for the next 24 months. Overall, except for the camera I believe, this phone is worth it. And I hope Nokia fans would also love it. That is it guys, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe for more updates. And I will talk to you soon.